Hi, I'm here in Lisbon this evening at the official opening of the new branch of MAN. That's Screaming for Men. Now you might say, hey, why does a nice looking guy like me have to come to a place like this? So let's just go and see what these guys are, are capable of. And now I'm here with the lovely Orla. Who's going to give me a facial? Take a minute to wrap your car with them. Your colleagues downstairs is ready. Wrap them anyway. Well, I've just had my first ever facial, and you know, already my skin feels revitalised and refreshed. It's quite, it's quite amazing. Uh, and with the soothing music on in the background, I suppose you could say I've had a whale of a time as well. So all I'd like to do is thank Orla. Thanks very much, Orla. So David, you're involved with the hot towel saves here. Um, just how popular are they at the minute? Incredibly popular, uh, getting more popular by the day. Um, there's, there's just an explosion with, with, with male grooming and men now want to look after themselves and that's why I want to be a part of that. There's an incredible amount of skill. Uh, all our ma master barbers here have, have worked the length and breadth of Ireland uh, gaining these skills and that's why you should always come to, to a professional to have the job done. Well, male grooming is really popular at the moment in terms of the deluxe hot towel shave and all the different treatments that we have available here. Men are really starting to look after themselves aesthetically and holistically as well. Give me some idea, I mean, of, of the, the type of clients that you do have. Does it cover all age groups and, and, and all professions? Oh, absolutely. We have all men from all different ages, all different backgrounds. In fact, that's why we call the Salon Man, um, so that we would appeal to all men. And do they themselves come in of their own accord, or is it very much the women in their lives that are maybe sort of giving them a bit of encouragement? Well, we have both, so we do. We have very much the man who knows his own mind and comes in and books his own treatments. But an awful lot of our customers come in because their female partners have been buying them gift vouchers, for Christmas, Valentine's Day and their birthdays and they really provide the um, opportunity for their men to come in and experience the treatments that we have on offer. So th there's no feeling of taboo whatsoever now about the whole area of male grooming? Oh absolutely not. Northern Ireland is very proactive in terms of male grooming. I mean we're very much at the forefront in terms of sort of our treatments and, and um, different things that we do. Our men are very very fashion focused and very image conscious. And I suppose when they look at people like David Beckham, for an obvious example, more and more celebrities have, have, have been having these treatments and that's filtered down to the ordinary man in the street. Oh yes, I mean we've an awful lot to thank David Beckham for, the man of 100 haircuts. Certainly he has been very forefronted in terms of sort of showing our men what you know is available to them. But yes, lots and lots of men now from all different walks of, of life are coming in to have male grooming treatments. And since I've been here, I've picked up a few good tips myself. <laughs> just, just one more tip. <laughs>